Welcome back to Tipping Point. I'm your host, Kara McKinney. Nothing irks me more than the president of Mexico knowing that he's in the position to bully and blackmail the U.S. to do his bidding. Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador was on 60 Minutes this past Sunday where he said that the U.S. basically has two choices. Keep suffering from the invasion at the border or be extorted into funding more losers south of the border to the tune of $20 billion a year as if we don't send billions already. And as if throwing money at these systemic intractable problems have ever fixed anything, ever. And when I say funding losers, I mean specifically the nations that are so corrupt and so nasty with humanitarian abuses that millions of their own people are fleeing from them in the first place. Basically, AMLO is twisting our arm into paying them for the pleasure of making their nation so crappy that they've been offloading their problem populations onto us for decades because they can't govern effectively. But of course, Biden will go for it, as he's been doing. I guess a 60 Minutes piece is coming from Democrats in the U.S. who think that if we listen to AMLO on this, then a PR victory at the border can be delivered for Biden just in time for November's election. It's actually kind of sickening because you know what else AMLO wants? Lifting sanctions on Venezuela, ending the embargo on Cuba. But most importantly, he wants us to also legalize in a giant fit of amnesty all quote unquote law abiding, which is a hilarious term to use in this context, Mexicans living in America. Now, why in the world would Mexico want us to take all their people? Like I said before, if these were by and large doctors and scholars and engineers and entrepreneurs, do you think Mexico would push so hard for its own brain drain? Isn't it more likely that these are people Mexico doesn't want living in its borders, so they'd rather America deal with the problem? And then on top of that, Mexico makes big money off the remittances, meaning all the money being sent back to family members in Mexico to keep their economy on life support. But perhaps what irks me the most was when AMLO, with his little smirk of knowing the ball is fully in his court while Biden remains in the White House, made this little comment. Watch. You know why we don't have the drug consumption that you have in the United States? Because we have customs, traditions, and we don't have the problem of the disintegration of the family. But there is drug consumption in Mexico. But very little. So why the violence then in Mexico? Because drug trafficking exists, but not the consumption. Joining us now to discuss is author Jeremy Carley, senior fellow at the Claremont Institute. Jeremy, thanks for being here tonight. Thanks so much for having me on. Gracie, yeah, AMLO does have a point with family disintegration up here north, but his country is making big money off that pain and suffering while dealing with the violence of the cartel. So I don't know why he has that grin on his face. What are your thoughts with what we just heard? Well, as you just pointed out in your intro, he uh, has that grin on his face because he knows that he's got Joe Biden right where he wants him, that Joe Biden is not going to call him out on any of his rhetoric, and that uh, he's kind of free to sort of set the narrative and also set the reality on the ground in whatever way he feels like is advantageous to Mexico. And now he's basically saying, uh, yeah, you know, you need to go ahead and bribe us X billion dollars and maybe we'll consider um, going, you know, doing something about this. Whereas we ought to be saying, look, if you guys don't get control of the border on your end, we're going to be going in, including with the military against the cartels. We're going to be doing everything I, everything we need to do you know your problems or we're going to clean them up yeah you know it, it is really upsetting to to hear all of this and to see in the way in which it's being handled because you know like we we're saying with Biden office he's not going to threaten or do any even a fraction of what you were just saying a strong president should and could be doing right now so of course AMLO can be like give me more money and I thought Kamala Harris isn't she the borders are hasn't she been flying down to Central and South America these last few years saying systemic and root causes and you know all of her word salads that she likes to do but a lot of that just means throwing more and more money at these nations and nothing seems to have been fixed. The invasion gets worse and worse by the year. But now, like Venezuela, for example, they get to empty their prisons. The prisoners and the inmates, the criminals come up north. Their violent crime rate goes down and then they get paid by America Ford. And now, of course, Amlo's saying also drop the sanctions on Venezuela. It's a win, 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 win for them. 